and he was just saying off camera there he'd rather win the straightforward way not straightforward today yeah it, no, I think we've got to realise I, I keep saying it that no team's going to come over here and just roll over and they're, they're fighting for their lives we've watched them they're a good team and I, I know people think I'm going to be cracking saying that because they're down near the bottom half but there's no easy games there really isn't uh, they play some good football you see them knocking it about uh, they scored one, one fantastic goal um, but we just kept going and we had to keep going because the lads, I told them, we've got to win this game. If we're going to be serious about what we're trying to achieve here, we've got to win these games. Uh, so, fair play to the lads, but um, there, there is no easy games. I'm just going to make that really crystal clear. The margins are tiny between winning and losing. And uh, went into the break 1-0 after going 1-0 down early on. What was the message at half-time? Well, the message was, uh, to be fair, that I felt we needed to get the ball in wide areas and get more crosses in the box. Um, I felt... I felt we got caught up by trying to be this nicey, nicey team with, with how they played. And with all due respect, that's not us. We, we have to just fight and grapple and, and put the balls in, in areas and try and win the knockdowns and the bits and, 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 and just be a bit more ugly. Uh, I felt we needed to be a bit more ugly today. Um, and, and we kind of did that. We huffed and puffed as always. Uh, and we got the ball wide and, and got the crosses in and, that, and, and the result was there. You know, that was great. And uh, Cheek doing what he does best with the two goals today. Yeah, I thought, I thought Michael Cheek was great again. Um, you know, forget uh, the goals, which I, I don't want to forget because they were great. He put a shift in today, Cheeky. Uh, he's been playing with a, a, a knock, you know, uh, last few weeks. And um, he looked like he's back to his old self again today. And also, you know, the last couple of games we've been playing free up top and, and, and I felt that Cheeky's been doing a lot of work outside the box. And my message was to get in the box more because that's where Cheek gets his goals. Uh, and he's proven that again today, so I'm really chuffed for him. But uh, you know, I'm more delighted we got the result. And uh, a big part of that was James Alabi who came on and really put a shift in. Yeah, James, I explained to him why I left him out today. Uh, I'll keep that private to me and James. It's, it's nothing untoward, by the way. It was a tactical thing that I spoke with James about. He completely got it. Uh, he never, he never lets me down, James Alabi. He never lets the dressing room down. He's a real credit to, to himself and to his family and, and to me, really. Most importantly, so I've got nothing but respect for James Alabi, and he comes on, and I almost think he comes out late at half time, so the crowd gets the crowd up, which I'm quite glad about. I quite like that. He come out as late as much as he wants if he's going to score like that every time. And I was going to say, the crowd quite entertained, I think, by the game, particularly in the second half. Not that you'll agree with that, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. <laughs> I'd much sooner just be a bit <laughs> straightforward, uh, you know. But look, it's not going to be like that. Look, no one, no one gets out of this division or gets up near the top half by by it being straightforward. And, and I've said to the guys, there's going to be bumps in the road, and we've had one today. And fair play to Kings Lynn. I mean, they got to be going back on that bus, absolutely devastated to be in front twice and, and not get nothing out of the game. Um, but a reflection of my guys, they just don't know when to give up, do they? You know, it's fantastic. I keep going on about this spirit in here and it's it's there and that's going to carry us a long way. Another home game on Tuesday, the visit of Yeovil Town. Yeah, again, it's not going to be easy. We need to be better. We need to be. We need to do things in a better manner. Um, and we've got to understand now that teams are going to come here and try to stop us doing certain things. So we need to be a little bit more streetwise and a little bit more smarter on how we go around certain things, which we'll do. But we'll, we'll pay we'll pay you over the same respect we pay every team that comes here and every game we, we lead up to. We're prepared and we we do our homework, we do our due diligence to make sure we're ready for the game. And, and it's the one and two percents that might just be getting us across the line in these games, which I'm really you know chuffed about. Andy, thanks for your time. Thank you.